Dr. Rackleford, aren't you asking for the impossible, getting into the uh, mayoralty race here barely a week before election? Nothing is impossible for those people who plead for social justice. Nothing is impossible. And the only thing that I can do is to try to do something for those who cannot do something for themselves, and that is our hapless women who find themselves with child that they do not wish to continue to termination. Now, do you think this is sufficient cause uh, for, a, for a candidate just on this abortion law alone? Yes, it is, because we have millions of women in our city of New York, and uh, the hundreds of thousands of them every year have to terminate a pregnancy for whatever reason they decide. And I found that the three candidates at the present time have never mentioned this social justice as something that, they, that should be corrected. They will put, they, they will put, uh, the candid they will put policemen in the schools, they'll, they'll uh, stop crime, they'll stop, they want to legalize uh, bookmaking as the Daily News comes out to say and so on. But the main thing is, what to do about the woman who, who is the head of her family practically, who wants to limit the amount of children that she has or expects to ha be able to maintain and send through school and all that. And uh, none of these candidates have said this. So I'm taking this opportunity of asking the people of the city to vote for me as a write-in candidate, not so much as to, me, uh, to elect me. I, I have nothing personally to gain by it, but to express their, their desire that change should be considered. It's a protest vote. And if they don't vote for any of these three candidates and vote for me, then at least they'll register what they really want, and that is the correction of a social injustice. Well, now, one of the, uh, one of the primary issues in this campaign is that of uh, law and order. And uh, but now I believe you're uh, under a couple of indictments, aren't you? I'm under two indictments at the present time for abortion. And the question of law and order is a very serious one. But in this particular question of abortion, we have a, a, a religious group who insists on using the criminal law to enforce morals upon the people of the city and of the state and the nation. And I believe that the uh, criminal law is no place to, uh, to enforce morals. The doctors want to serve their patients, but they're not permitted to. Women want to be served by their doctors. They're not permitted to because some a fellow about 90 years ago decided that sex was obscene and as a re the results of sex was an obscenity and therefore they passed these abortion laws. These abortion laws today have no place in our, in our uh, criminal law.